Hi, my name is Ash. I'm a sophomore from Lincoln East. Smart and my piece is titled, And Then My Breathing Studied. My mother told me she doesn't remember my first words. The first she remembers came in a sentence. My mother told me I think too much. My father told me I think too little. I used to have this job walking the lengths of cornfields. You could see the sunrise between the stalks, the water off the leaves sliced you to your bones. The silence was so heavy that early in the morning, I remember the moments where I forgot where I was. I looked around and wondered how far I had walked when my brain was stranded in limbo. When you're there, it's like you can finally breathe. Like the world was left behind. And you have one goal to get to the other side of the cornfield. To be honest, I've probably thought about this too much, but I like the first day of school, especially when you're new. I've been new four times. It's like breathing again. I would take in my surroundings, make prejudgments on every one in every class. It became a game, less like social interaction, more like how many friends can I make before I move again? Maybe that sounds narcissistic that these other human beings meant less to me, but how was I supposed to make connections? The end was in sight. The silence I survived in, the thoughts I let envelop me to the posters and roar of conversation faded to a low and out of focus shapes. The moments where nothing else mattered except getting to the other side because I could sit in class and wait for bells to ring if I nodded my head once in a while. How far into my subconscious can I go without my teacher noticing? How barely can I scrape by? I have thought through every worst case scenario, trying to predict which ones I can survive. I used to think I was running from this silence but I could not escape it if I tried. I've been talking since I could walk, so God knows how long I've been thinking. Am I much too preoccupied with my thoughts to ever get anywhere? I've been seeing doctors for attention problems. One said to me, I wonder if there is more going on than we think. They said to my mom, these kids are the hardest, the bright ones that slip by. The school psychologist won't see me because my grades are fine. Am I doomed to mediocrity because I can't escape this poem at a point? God, I've lost it again. Who am I to believe I would go anywhere even if I wasn't lost or trapped? Because I don't know what this is. Don't know it by any other name than silence. What is wrong with me that I've made games in my head of humanity just to be further and all the meaningless things that I think? Because the silence is like breathing, but it still holds me back.